Hello, my name is Mike Gag, and welcome to part three of the video series on Windows programming with C Sharp. Now, in uh, part three, uh, we're still talking about learning C Sharp programming. We haven't gotten into the Windows programming part just yet, uh, but we are going to cover uh, classes and object oriented programming. Uh, these are some concepts you should already be familiar with. If you're not, you might want to just, uh, you know, might want to read a little bit about them, learn a little bit about encapsulation. I am going to talk about the whys and the hows and stuff, uh, but I'm going to go a bit faster than I would normally because uh, it's assumed that you already have a pretty good understanding of this stuff. Uh, so in this series, or in this part of the series, we will be covering, uh, like I said, classes and the syntax of classes. We will be covering properties, uh, or as you might know them from another language, accessors and mutators or getting sets, but they behave a little bit differently in, in C Sharp. Um, uh, we'll be talking about constructors, and we'll be talking about how to extract classes into our own libraries.